This day in history of the Walt Disney World Resort for April 21st and 22nd. On this day in history, April 21st, 2001, the Main Street Bake Shop and Plaza Ice Cream Parlor closed for the first major renovation in 30 years. The Main Street Bake Shop sits halfway up Main Street on the right-hand side and serves cookies, pastries, baked goods, and smoothies. The Plaza Ice Cream Parlor at the end of Main Street sells hand-dipped cones, floats, and waffle bowl sundaes. They both are scheduled to reopen late in July. April 22nd, 1990. The Mickey's Birthday Land area in the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World closes. Mickey's Birthday Land was a brand new land built between Fantasyland and Tomorrowland just past the Tomorrowland Speedway and opened in 1988 as part of Mickey's 60th birthday celebration. The land was originally developed to be temporary and taken down after the birthday but was kept due to its popularity. After the celebration, the land was renamed Mickey's Starland and in 1996, new attractions were added and the name was changed permanently to Mickey's Toontown Fair. April 22, 1998, Disney's Animal Kingdom opens to the public. As the fourth park built at Walt Disney World Resort, it was the largest single Disney theme park in the world, covering more than 500 acres, and the first Disney park to be completely themed around animal conservation. The park touts five attractions, nine exhibits, 12 live entertainment shows, 11 merchandise locations, and eight food locations. Two of the three major lands, Africa and Dino Land USA, open on this date. Asia will open in early 1999. In addition, the park is accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, meaning they have met and exceeded the standards in education, conservation, and research. And that's this day in history of the Walt Disney World Resort for April 21st and 22nd. Be sure to catch the next episode. We've got the official groundbreaking of a new hotel. We'll see you then.